Good question, I think. Um, and um, you know that uh, in, in the affected area, eh, there are many lists of keys, what they mean, and intervals, what they mean. When you look at the interval structures of this piece, and, and the interval structures of the figures, you can see that they belong to the, not sad, but more melancholic. Do you agree when you hear the piece that it is a kind of melancholic thing? Um, it's not so much a matter of agreement. I like to agree with you, but um, it, it, it doesn't give me a feeling of melancholy. Okay, but yeah. It's, it's that could be a, yes, yeah. but does it give you another, uh, a more extreme feeling like sadness or joy? Or what does it To me, it, it gives me a feeling of joy because it's always striving to go up, sometimes interrupted, like with the Abu Shu in this uh, yeah. bar, and I find it an exciting piece. Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. It's very good. Yeah. But how do you experience this then? is very important for the performance. Actually, I think that the, 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 the more sad figures, like the, 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 the catabasis uh, figures, they quite dominate in my, in my own um, experience. Yes. Huh? Okay, but a nice question. I think we have to think about this, yeah. how you want to play, how you want to yeah, expose the, the uh, emotions you feel in the piece. Like, very important. Um, I think his performance was now so much better that not only the soprano was were figures uh, with a character, because that's what we have to do. We have figures, and we have to make figures into a character. When you play. You have to make that into a character. And the character can be... What do you want? And that's a very important decision. You can change it. I think when you come close to the intention of the composer, you will be more convinced in your performance. Anyway, the pedal now, also even the pedal figures, the pedal figures are something Very nice. Okay, we go to the few. Yeah? Um, there's one more thing I, I want to ask your attention for, and that is the Dilus Fantasticus has many roots in the Italian music, as we have seen yesterday. One composer has written some very interesting pieces, and that's Froberger. And Froberger writes pieces where he says, um, Anjou is set pièce. That's how he writes above the piece. Anjou is set pièce. Avec discrétion, jusqu'au, and then he makes this sign like this. And then later in the piece you find the sign. And you know, I have to play from here till there. Avec discrétion. Or in Italian. What do you find in this piece? Con discrezione. Now what does that mean? I mean, in fact, all the non contrapuntal pieces, parts of the piece, have to be played con discrezione. What does it mean? Free. Free. 
Yes, that's what I thought too for a very long time. Discretion, eh? in, I don't, in Portuguese, yeah. means uh, being completely not showed off. Ah, but thank you very it. much. <laughs> thank you very much. It means modest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's what it means. Today it means do whatever you want and please show how fast you can play <coughs> and how unclear you can play. No, no, it is not. You have to be clear in what you say, particularly when the figures are very complicated. Yeah? The more complicated you are, the more you have to be clear. Because we want to, we want to hear, we want to experience, we want to hear what you say. When you speak unclear, people get offended. They stop listening because what is the use of trying to hear something you can't hear? Yes, you feel excommunicated. Fugue, sorry. Okay, good. Uh, in terms of um, objective rules, where would you phrase? The axes were quite okay, I think. There. And now, what happens now? Where is the phrasing in the theme? Can you play me the theme, just the theme? Yes, stop. That's the end. And then, difference of direction. So It should not be much. When you exaggerate, things become a caricature. But you have to show us what, what the direction is. Can you try? That is, I think, also why you should not play too quick. Because there's much to show, there's much to see. I always compare with a guide in a museum. When he runs through the museum, I say, oh, 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 you have seen nothing. Yeah? When, you, when he is too slow, you get bored. So you have to find the right kind of way to tell your story and to say, look at this or look at that. Yeah? too much on the quarter note. Try to play. This is the tactus. The tactus is a half note. Here we go. One. See how difficult it is? Because no, there was no phrase. Let's try to come 
this over here to see how the fugue sort of transforms again into the free <coughs> and the condiscrezione way of playing. Can you start somewhere here maybe where the pedal comes in? Very fine. I found this very beautiful and also much more in imbalance. Also, his pedal was much more part of the few of the four voices. And uh, I also believe that uh, you should not make too much ralentando. Yeah? Because when you make a ralentando in a piece with a sort of motoric prose, it sounds like if your batteries are. Good, okay. How to play this? How, to, how could you consider how to play that? Why? In the north of Tigers, it's not, often not so clear. This is very clear a pedal trail. Oh. Yes. But I mean more how to play in terms of accents and you have to shape the motive. How do you shape the motive? When you are a 19th century musician, you would play maybe I don't think that's the way to do it. But what what could you say? Because this is you know, this is Stilus Fantasticus, there are no accents. The accents are where you want that to be, or where the composer writes them, and that's what we have to decide. You played... I think the first place you can, you can cut the motive into two motives. Eh? It's, not one, it's not one motive, it's two motives. Where's the cut? Yes, there's the cut. Okay. Trilo longo, so you can play. Okay, let's try. And the motive obviously is articulated and bit grouped. Make this note more important, fine with me, but I don't hear it. Almost, I think the accent is here. And that. Uh, try to avoid, can you 
played in your toes to make a very big movement. So don't interrupt them. You cannot do it. figures and they should sound like complimentary. They are not melodic figures, they are complimentary figures. Yes, please. sound very beautiful or rather ugly and when you listen to this very simple simple sequence of notes What's the difference? Oh, yeah. The touch, yes. So the, the touch is very important for the quality of the sound. So when you play romantic music, you play legato. Though we are very much learning about the romantic period also in terms of the legato. We, we, I was raised with the absolute legato, yeah? the perfect legato. We know now that in César Frank and yeah, all these composers, the, the perfect legato does not really exist. Yes. And that the, the speech of the sound, the first moment of the sound, is extremely important for the quality and the clarity. I'd say it's the salt in the potatoes, it's the spices in the food. Yes, there is no spice in the food. So, 
that is why I can say that 100% of the notes in Baroque music have to be articulated. Yes? And I add to that even the notes which are played legato. Yeah? They should sound legato, but they are not legato. Yeah? This is extremely important for the way you play this. If you want to play this very light, yes, and very sort of spiritual sort of thing, like a You can take a foot forward, but you can also to try to play it on the plane and the same thing. Instead of... That's heavy and, and, and uh, yeah, uh, unrefined, not refined. You need your small brush when you were painting. Okay, can you try? doesn't like short notes when they are released quickly. That's not a sound. It's not a complete sound. This is a sound. I would say, particularly, you have to articulate the notes followed by a rest, because they change the character very much. But our brain does not like that, because we like to raise this note. There, to raise the note, to release the note earlier is very difficult. It's more complicated for your brain, yes? But the difference is this. Or... So the lightness of this movement is particularly determined, not by the quick notes, but by the long notes. Character is wonderful, yeah. But it 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 takes an effort, a great effort. You have to invest a lot. Yes. Don't be satisfied when some letter comes out of your typewriter. It should be a beautiful letter. Yeah? Okay. One more time. That was very nice. Try to try to keep the same atmosphere. to say. 
is we stop the time on a very strong distance, which creates a lot of tension. Uh -huh. yeah. This is part of the problem in the editions, yeah. that in, in many editions you find different solutions. There's a C-sharp here, I don't think it should be there. Is this Bellotti? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have been thinking a long time that Bellotti got the answers on all questions, but I'm afraid it's not true. This is Michael, but the next <laughs> in, in case, In case you start to accuse uh, the wrong person. <laughs> yes, okay. So, um, yes, um, you know, when you think you're your important books, the dictionary of Walter and the dictionary of Brossard, they should be always, I mean, you should put them in your favorite files of your computer because you need them every, I need them every day. And you try to find the word Rallantondo or Rita Don. Yes? You, 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 you assume they will be there. They are not there. They do not exist. So, Rolantondo does not exist. Some people say, but you do it too, like in this place. But this is not a Rolantondo when you play. <laughs> time on the place where most tension is created so and then the, the explosion of the solution the resolution I like that yes okay here we go so it is stopping the time it's not a lot One thing, I still have one wish. He played it nice. I want him to play, pay more attention to the quality of the scene. 